Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. So last night I finished up this WJ power steering pump. Now we got that in there. <laughs> Everything else in here is really dirty, really neglected, really shot. I mean, look at this air filter. Come on, this poor thing. Check out this man. Underneath the oil cap, it is just caked on with sludge. This is after me wiping it down too. <laughs> oh, so many other things that this thing needs. And all I wanted to do was just do the power steering pump so it stopped leaking. But I got great news last night. I am able to get this thing titled and registered in Vermont. Yeah, buddy. I got a, got a friend that pulled some strings. This thing is going to be registered. It's going to be titled. And it's going to be roadworthy soon. So I'm going all in on this, man. I'm going all in on the WJ. So this morning when I woke up, I went to the auto parts store, got some high mileage oil, got a new air filter, and we're just going to go to town on this thing. Going to love on it, freshen it up. Uh, yeah, this is going to be exciting stuff. All right, first things first, got to tackle the hood struts. Easy peasy. Just take a little pick, pop off these locks. Go guys, endless possibilities when your hood stays up. All right. There we go, not bad. Dust free WJ. Alright, just gonna come over here, just cap up this power steering box for any prolonged exposure. Don't wanna get anything in it like uh, dust and pollen. <laughs> so, alright, uh, at a quick once over, I noticed probably some leaky valve covers right there. There's some goop down there. But more importantly, check out this, guys. I wonder if this was making that awful sound while I was driving it. That's not sounding good. What the hell? So, definitely gonna get new shocks. Maybe that means I'll have to do a lift. Oh, geez. All right, I think next, battery. Yeah, these terminals have definitely seen better days. But unfortunately, there's a terminal shortage over here in my town. So uh, I'm just going to have to refresh these. And you know what? My cousin put a new battery in his WJ. I'm going to try to use his old battery because, God, it's got to be better than this one. <laughs> oh, man. All right. These terminals are just nasty. Normally, I'd cut them off. But since I can't get them, I'm just going to neutralize them with some baking soda. Neutralize that battery acid with a box of base. Now I can kind of work on it. You don't want to touch this stuff and then rub your eyes or even touch your clothes. They'll burn a hole through your clothes. So let's see what I can do with this crap. This is a mess. I'll try this terminal puller. See if this works. This is uh, pretty nasty. Well, there we go. Thank you, Matt. Woo, got you. Man. Corrosion. Yikes. Thank you. 
There we go. Wow. And the tie down is in here somewhere. Ugh. Some of the good stuff. The auto body intake cleaner, yeah baby. So, the whole time I've been working on this WJ, I've been swarmed by hornets. Since I started filming, I got five of them. So maybe we'll call this WJ Project Project Green Hornet. Maybe. Alright. Oof. Gonna change this oil. But well, I'm scared to see what's in it because of all that sludge, man. Hope it's not as bad as I fear. My guess is it's gonna be black. Well, the oil color wasn't terrible. I have seen worse, but unfortunately, it was about two quarts low, so hope that's not a problem. Pretty much all you need to do to keep your vehicle running is keep changing the oil. So, all right, I'm just gonna use fresh oil to lube up this seal. Is that old oil is nasty. And who could beat access like this? Perfect. So this container is about a gallon. It's not even full. <laughs> That's scary because these engines take a gallon and a half. So oof. hopefully a lack of oil won't cause any problems down the line. Man, look at the sludge. Ugh. You can taste it. Don't, don't taste it. All right, here we go. Some Castrol high mileage. Went with the 5W30 because it's getting colder. It's gonna be winter season and we'll run a thinner weight oil. And for my last quart, I'm gonna run a mix of some high mileage oil stabilizer from Lucas and Marvel Mystery Oil. I wanna clean this thing out. Maybe we'll change the oil again at like 500 miles. A hot change, just like Doug from d and in the Garage recommends. Doug is the man, and he has experience with the woes of a 4.7, so I trust Doug. That's about a half a quart. And for use in vehicles, 75,000 miles plus. All right, one no-brainer I gotta take care of. This is thermostat down here. I got everything apart. Can't beat this kind of access. So eight millimeter 
for the top and hopefully eight millimeter for the bottom. <laughs> you never know. That ain't cool. Huh, boy. Well, this is scary. That can't be stock. Clean this up a bit. All right, got ourselves a Mopar thermostat right over here. And just gonna insert it into my housing. Make a nice seal here. And want that little, little valve facing north, up. Which way is north? Up. What do you mean up? Well, north on the map is always up. Yeah, hope that does a trick. All right, here we go. Got my cousin's battery all charged and cleaned up. Hopefully this has some life in it. Also got a nice cleaned up battery tie down bolt with the stopper and some anti-seize. Yeah, baby. Cool. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it for this day's work on the old WJ uh, Project Green Hornet. <laughs> Green Hornet WJ? I don't know. Hey, uh, ended up smoking about seven of those Hornets today. Anyway, let's take a look at what we did so far. So, we put in new hood struts. That's great. <laughs> nice to have a hood that stays open. Let's see, we did the battery. We got a new used battery. Thank you, Matt. This should have some life left in it, hopefully. We cleaned up and painted the terminals since we're having a terminal shortage in my town. Still gotta get new screws for it, but it's nice and clean. We'll put some dielectric grease on it when we button this down. We did the battery tie-down bolt. That's clean, painted, anti-seized. Everything is generally cleaned for the most part. We got some new oil in this bad boy. Some high mileage oil with some oil additives. Let's see what else. We did the throttle body. Cleaned up the throttle body. Cleaned out the throttle body. We got a new power steering pump. New power steering pump hoses. Cleaned out the air box. Gave that a good scrub. Cleaned the general engine bay area over here. We also cleaned up these hood support mounts, scrubbed off all the rust, gave it a shot of paint. That's looking better. Cleaned up the steering box. This was a nightmare. Now at least I could see the connectors. Capped this off until we put the new hoses on. New oil filter. We put on a new thermostat. There we go. And what else? What else? Oh, gave a fresh coat of paint on this condenser and cooler over here because it was looking pretty shabby. And as much as I could, I wiped this thing down. So we're cleaning it, we're fixing it, replacing stuff, and hopefully soon we'll have this on the road. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Hopefully soon we'll get all these parts back on it and really wanna get the new radiator and fan on. And then, uh, man, this thing should be roadworthy any day now. So it's coming along good and uh, I'm excited, guys. Hope you are too. So remember to like, subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next project. Peace.